Something new is coming, and I want to be a part of it. Hey everyone, this is Marco from Exploration Gaming, and today we're going to take a first look at the newest, shiniest MMO. Dune Awakening from Funcom, partnered with Legendary Films, is an open-world survival game inspired from the novels of Frank Herbert and the cinematic vision of Denis Villeneuve. The game places us on the planet Arrakis with all the intrigue, politics, religion, and warring factions, not to mention giant sandworms, as a backdrop. I just can't wait for it. Let's take a peek at the trailer, which recently premiered at Gamescom, and then discuss some of the implications. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. character in the trailer is much like Paul Atreides, but is it supposed to be him? He wears a still suit and carries maker's hooks and is voicing the Bene Gesserit litany of fear, but questions still remain. Could this MMO use some of the actors from the films to voice NPCs in the game? If they could persuade Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya to sign on, it would certainly be a coup in the gaming world. The developers have a ton of source material which will add depth and layers to the structure of the game itself. Frank Herbert wrote six Dune novels, and there are 24 if you count the ones his son Brian Herbert has penned, but I don't count those, and neither should the designers. Now, Funcom is currently enlisting beta testers, and obviously I'm raising my hand for that, and so can you, by giving them your email address at dunegames.com. Let's consider what the game developers are promising us so far. Here are the key features. Survive the most dangerous planet in the universe. Build shelters against sandstorms. Maintain your still suit. And master the old ways to walk even the deepest deserts. Avoid or be devoured by the colossal sandworms that dwell beneath the sands. Well, this tells us there's going to be building in the game and maintaining a still suit. Explore the ever-changing face of Arrakis. Walk the ruins of long-forgotten biological testing stations. Scavenge the wreckage of fallen spaceships and wander the dusty halls of abandoned CHs. Head into unmapped sectors and be the first to discover secrets and riches before the Coriolis storms once again shift the sands and alter the landscape. Now this tells us there's going to be a changing landscape with treasures that we can forage and seek out. And control the spice, control Arrakis. Hunt for spice blooms and deploy your harvester, then protect it from opportunistic raiders and rival factions. Soak the sand in blood as massive battles shift seamlessly from foot to vehicles and from ground to ornithopters in the sky. So battles and foraging spice including battles on ground and in the air, 
so flying is a part of the game. Make plans within plans. Make a name for yourself among the inhabitants of Arrakis. Wield intrigue and force to influence the land stride and impact the world. Build your own faction through spice harvesting, trade, subterfuge, and open conflict. So faction building and at least four obvious class distinctions are a part of the game. Awaken the sleeper. Tailor every aspect of your character. Consume spice to conquer your senses and acquire powerful abilities. Hone your craft to become sought out for the finest creations. Construct your fortress in the style of your choosing. The journey is yours to shape. Now, Construct Your Fortress says that housing is a big part of the game as well. What Funcom has given us so far is a tease, but it's a really good one. Well, what are your thoughts? Are you excited to play a Dune-based MMO? There's no launch date set, but it would make great sense from a publicity standpoint to aim for a release date near the film sequel release date, which is November 17th, 2023, or 14 to 15 months down the line. I'll keep you posted on future developments. Please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. As always, I'm Marco. Be kind to one another. Remember that fear is the mind killer. And keep exploring.